everyone, this is Kasia, Feeling Artsy, and today we're going to draw ruffled tiered skirts. Uh, we're going to draw two different kinds, and um, if you enjoy drawing with me, make sure you subscribe down below. In this video, we're going to use the same techniques we have used in the basic ruffle tutorial, but we will be more specific. To complete this project, you will need a piece of paper and a pencil. I'm going to begin by drawing a triangle and that will be the waistline. And then I'm going to draw a trapezoid-like shape and I'm going to draw it really lightly. But that will help me figure out where the pieces of my skirt go. Okay, so the top layer is going to be right about a third of our skirt and um, to draw the ruffles I'm going to draw a squiggly line that folds in and out like this and then I'm going to add details to it to show the ruffles some more so now to make these ruffles more realistic, I will add some shading to it. So there's shading in these corners here. Now we can also add some lines going to the top of the skirt that will show the folds. And some coming down and some can break off like this now if you want to you can also add little perforated lines close to the edge to show the seam lines and you can enhance your belt the same way you can um, darken it some and then add tiny little lines for the seams. Now the second tier. So we're gonna go about a third again and this see how it comes out from under this and under this. It's gonna go further out and same thing I'm going to do squiggly lines to show the ruffles. And uh, just like the first time around, I'm going to shade in inside these corners. I'm going to add these lines that go towards the top of our skirt. And we can add tiny little perforated lines for the seam line. Now the bottom layer, sort of the same thing. So go down and then we're going to add curves. And again, shading. depending which way your folds go, so like this way, this one folds over this, and this one the same thing. That's the way you put your shading. You can add the preferred line for the seam line. And then um, you can also shade this in some, since this is underneath that. 
you can add a lot more details to this to make it even more realistic. Now I'm going to move on to my second skirt. The second skirt is going to be also tiered, but um, it's not going to it's going to be asymmetrical. So waistline, same thing, a rectangle. Same lines if you want them. And um, it's going to be poofier. Now to show my poofiness, I'm going to draw a curve here that will guide me in where exactly to turn. So I know this will end here and then this will be my ruffles. And then the second tier will come out from under it. And this one, I'm going to make turn like this and go behind the skirt. And finally, in the center, we can add a third tier. Okay, so the ruffles. This one, this will be the second tier, so this top ruffle is going to go here. Uh, I'm going to work on my squiggly lines again. It's going to go behind. And same thing like last time. To make it more realistic, we're going to draw the lines going towards the top of the skirt. We're going to add shading here. Now second tier goes down here, it loops behind and squiggly line again. But now all of these are folding the same way. So shading just on one side and then the fold going to the top. Again, if you want even more details, you can add little lines for the seam line. Then some shading back here. Now this part is going to go behind and uh, there's going to be a fold here. And finally, this is where either your legs can go, or I'm going to draw a little pencil skirt here. Add some lines. So I think this pretty much does it. I hope this helped you figure out how to draw a tiered skirt with flounces. Make sure to give me thumbs up and come back to see me soon.